So I wanted to make one more quick video about this, uh, this whole far-right uh, concept that seems to be a, uh, I don't know, a, a justification for moronic behavior. You know, the stereotypical kind of male behavior, smashing beer cans on your head and acting like a jackass. Um, okay. <laughs> what it seems to me... Now remember, I said in my Stan Lee video, I used to be a fan of comic books. It seems like that these, uh, these quote, far-right folks have now finally crossed the line before, uh, between LARPing and full-blown comic book cartoonish insanity. Now, what cracks me up, I was thinking, the Proud Boys reminds me of the name of, I believe it was Mr. Sinister of the X-Men's group, uh, the Nasty Boys. Now, what's funny is, this has also, apparently there's some kind of, uh, fr and I'm going to do a better video, but this is just too comical to hold in. There's some kind of fraternal order of the alt knights. Okay. Now, what I think this is is this is to um, invoke the feeling or the uh, the atmosphere of the fraternal order of the white knights of the Ku Klux Klan, which clearly this is not the white knights of the Ku Klux Klan. This is just some kooky crap. Now, what's funny is these are all Trump supporters. Donald Trump the world's most Zionist world leader besides Benjamin Netanyahu, okay? And maybe Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro might be equally as Zionist as Donald Trump. But my point is, is you have these people trying to utilize these national socialist symbols. It's similar to, uh, if anybody's familiar with skinheads against racial prejudice or something like this, where these people want to... They want to be a skinhead, but they don't want the negativity, so they want to be like, oh, I love gay people, and I love black people, and I love communism, and I love everything that's good, okay? That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of uh, kind of like skinheads against racial prejudice. These are people that want to be uh, neo-Nazis or national socialists or skinheads, and if you notice it, they're made up of various groups of people. You have whites and Jews and blacks, and all sorts of stuff in these groups. And the reason why is because they're trying to, uh, these, these people that feel ostracized by the uh, prevailing Caucasian community want to participate in what they consider to be the naughty side of being white. They want to be the ones that oppress them. And this is what's funny, is these people, this is one of the reasons communism is always going to fail, is because once you once you liberate the uh, the oppressed the oppressed classes, the oppressed classes go overboard and oppress the people that they claim were oppressing them, which is exactly what happened in uh, in the Soviet Union. That's why you have the issue with the Holodomor. Was the oppressed people, the so-called oppressed people, wanted to punish the wealthy Ukrainian farmers uh, by starving them to death? Okay, so you have. Um, <laughs> There's many things going on in the United States right now that's very similar to a communist uprising. And people need to recognize this, and people also need to recognize the value of third positionism, preferably justicialism, <laughs> and understand that it's no longer about conservative or liberal or any of this crap. It's about what the hell's going to work and what's going to put an end to the frickin' circus outside.